if you've ever flown on a plane, you may be curious as to how they get into the air and stay there. After all, the first successful airplane flights took place in Kitty Hawk more than 100 years ago. So today, Rochelle Peart is looking at the science behind how planes fly. Whether it's gliding, soaring, or flying, these massive machines have to get into the air somehow. But how? That's where NASA Langley's Michael Wusk steps in to explain. To do that, we've had to overcome at least two forces that conspire to keep us on the ground. Those two forces are weight and drag. You need lift and thrust to fight those forces. The amount of lift is based on the shape of the wing and the airflow speed and density around the wing. As that uh, force equals or exceeds the weight of the aircraft, then we fly into the sky. Flying is a balancing act finding the right harmony between the vertical and horizontal forces in play. As we move forward, that air resists the movement, and we need to overcome that. The plane's propellers and engine create a forward lifting force, and that's what we call thrust. Before a pilot steps into the cockpit, they know that they have to work both against, but also with the forces of physics. Rochelle. Well, if you have something you want Rochelle to explain, email her your idea or reach out on social media.